stop it. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Direct TV. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter, Twitter for more juicy content. It's yep. so juicy. Make sure and follow Fisher. Turn the camera on the bell. We've got the notification cord. It's quite fun. It was a good year. It stings the nostrils. Mm. Uh, today, what are we doing, Rick? We are going to react. We are reacting to a video. It's called, I don't want to mispronounce this. Right here. Weird title. Yeah. I don't want to mispronounce this. It is pronounced, oh, I'm... I'm get, always guessing, so forgive me if I screw it up. Uh, Cargill, Hero's mother, makes him cure on his birthday. I uh, don't know what to I think this is a war. Okay. Uh, the, between India and Pakistan. It's not just somebody named Cargill Hero? No, I think it's a Cargill Hero. Okay. So like uh, like a World War II hero. Okay. Kind of, kind of, I believe that's what it is. And so this is, I don't know... Um, or what happened to him? I'm assuming this video will tell us, but it's like an, um, a video that makes uh, his mother made him. Okay. I don't know. What is what is cure? Do you know? That's why I just said I think it's a war. So his mother makes him war for his birthday. <laughs> Rick. So think of this like World War Two. Okay. World War Two hero, his mother. Right. So this makes him cure. What is cure? I don't know. That's, ah, that's okay. one thing. I don't gotcha. know what cure is. Got it. This, I believe, is a war. A so a soldier hero's mother yes. makes him cure on his birthday. Basically, I'm with you. Okay, so here we go. Captain Vijay Thakur was born on 26 December 1976. So when you become a mother, you are very happy. You see a beautiful child. Wo happiness aur bad jati hai. Wo ek aisa bachcha tha. Sara school khali ho jaye. Sabse last mein Vijay Thakur bahar aa raha hai. And then he come home. और अपने फ्रेंड्स के बारे में बात करेगा दैट वाज हिज एवरीडे जॉब मैं तो फौज में ही जाऊंगा मैं कहीं नहीं जाऊंगा गणेश थापा ने उसको बोला कि देखो अगर तू फर्स्ट चांस में नहीं निकलेगा तो फिर याद रखना तो फौज में नहीं जाएगा ही वर्क सो हार्ड एंड ही वाज थ्रू इन द फर्स्ट चांस ओनली एंड समटाइम्स आई फील अगर वो फर्स्ट चांस में नहीं निकलता हो सकता कभी कारगिल नहीं जाता जिंदगी की लंबाई नहीं नापी जाती है कि किसने कितने साल जिया लेकिन जिंदगी में आपने क्या अचीव किया वो ज्यादा मायने रखता है एज ए सन ऑफकोर्स ही वॉज वेरी फाउंड ऑफ इज मदर एंड वी वर लाइक फ्रेंड्स विजयंत को तो खीर आप जब भी खिला दो वो बहुत खुश होता था और वो आप हफ्ते में एक बार बना दो आप महीने में एक बार बना दो ही वॉज वेरी हैप्पी मेरे हस्बैंड भी इतना ज्यादा कोई मीठा नहीं खाते इवन माय यंगर सन वो भी मीठा कम खाता है लेकिन मैं और मेरा बेटा बहुत वी वर फॉन्ड ऑफ खीर एंड वो खीर इतनी बन जाती थी कि फिर वो दो तीन दिन स्टोर होती थी और फिर दो तीन दिन वो चलती थी और खाते थे अब मैं इसको थोड़ा सिम करके और अब मैं इसमें डाल दूँ शुगर ये है छोटा इलायची है टेस्ट बहुत अच्छा लगता और इसी के बीच में पक भी जाएगा ये है बादाम पिसा हुआ बादाम ये काजू है पिसा हुआ काजू इससे थोड़ा टेस्टी हो जाए वो अगर होगा तो मेरे को एक दो चीज़ें और भी डालनी पड़ती और अब ये जा रही है टेबल पर विजन रियली लाइक दिस दिस रिच थिंग काजू बादाम किशमिश वो जो करता था एक्सरसाइज जिम जाता था ये जाता था उसके लिए तो दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड आई विश विजन a very very happy 41st birthday and i'm sure wherever he is he's happy uh i get 
kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. That gets you in the feels. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah. I, I just, I can't, um, I've had moments where I've seen my kids in pain. Um, I can't, um, uh, I cannot imagine what it's like to lose a child. Mm -hmm. uh, especially like that in service to your country at such a young age. Mm -hmm. And to think he died at 22, he would have been 41. So I guarantee she's been doing that every year on his birthday. Mm -hmm. That's just, God bless all of the military and a special portion of blessing on all of those beautiful family members who yeah. lost somebody. Lots of people, you know, most everybody should, you know, respect people of the military. Absolutely. Have their love, but it's also almost just as hard, if sometimes harder for the, the family, the families yes. that they leave back, especially if they're deployed. Yes. Um, and not knowing if they're okay. Yep. And especially if they, you know, if that person dies in service. Right. Um, that, like, it's extremely, you can't even, especially like, it's one thing, like, let's say I was in the military and I went off and I died. No, it was my wife and my kids would be extremely sad, but then it's a totally different thing and unfathomable to me to even think of, you know, three months being a father of like my son, if he went off to war yeah, and having, having to think about that is just like the worst thing in the world. 100%. I can't even like imagine yeah, no, what I, I would do. I don't know. <laughs> I've, ex I've experienced a lot of pain in life and I can say without any hesitation, the worst pain I've ever felt in my life was the pain of knowing my child is in pain in mm -hmm. some way. Um, that's, it's, it's just the last thing you want. It's like, let me be in that pain. I don't want them suffering. It's just, so you, I mean, you saw it's been 20 something years and it's just no, right I, there I for her. I don't think that goes away. It won't, it won't go away. <laughs> I, for That's some, her baby. For some reason I've always, even before, like when I was a kid and I watched Lord of the Rings, one of the most quotes that I know uh, you're gonna say. Say, he says, no father should have to bury their son yep. or have to bury their child or for whatever, whatever the line is. And yep. Like, that's the, that, that's the, exactly it's what comes to mind. Uh, something you shouldn't ever have to think about. No, you, you know it's awful enough to lose your parents, but you you know that's coming. Yeah. It's time, and you're like they're old, and it's their time. But to think of like a parent having to raise their son, and then them leaving this earth before you leave is just yeah unfathomable. Yeah, um, but the fact that she cooked like there's meals that my mom cooks that I've always want whenever I go back to see her. I want her to cook chicken fried steak. For me, I wanted to cook uh, chicken rice. I mean, it's mostly chicken dishes. Uh, <laughs> my wife can attest; it's true. It's all chicken dishes. Um, but I got the meals, and so like, I, it's just. I, I'm assuming she does this every single year mm -hmm. on just, just so she can feel like he's there. Yeah, and do it, do it because uh, people do that all the time. That's one of my. The fact that she it, said she wishes she he didn't make it on the first try. Yeah. Because then he would still be here. Everybody thinks those things. It's, yeah. it's if this hadn't happened, maybe they would still be there. If this, and I guarantee, being a loving mama, she's probably wondering, was there anything she could have done differently? But no, this is what he wanted to do. And she says she's a proud mama. Proud mama, I promise you. Uh, any soldier who's mm -hmm. worth their weight uh, will tell you they signed up for that. They, they knew exactly what they were doing, and for them, in fact, there's lots of stories of soldiers coming back. And their buddies died, and they did, and they have a, they did not, and they have a really hard it's survivor's guilt, really hard time with the fact that they didn't mm -hmm. go with their buddies. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, man, every any and everybody in the military, we say this every time we do a military video. God bless you. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't get the respect and the love you deserve because it should be poured out to you all the time. Mm -hmm. um, well, Jai Hind. Yeah, Jai Hind, indeed. <laughs>